Hey guys, welcome back. This is a very quick review of the Bethlehem 3737 hopper from Xactrail. If you want an in-depth review of a similar hopper, you can look at my review on the 3483 Bethlehem hopper from Xactrail and just search for that on my YouTube page. But overall, with this review, I just want to show you some cool features of the hopper and some unique things about them. One thing about the hopper is you've got four different paint schemes available and two paint schemes have monikers available with one road number each. These two paint schemes happen to have those monikers so let's take a closer look so you can see the monikers up close. That moniker is called the Herbie moniker and we also have the Rambler moniker over here which is a little palm tree. So those are unique and very different for an HO scale model to have. MSRP, by the way, on this is $48.95, but as of the 21st of February 2014, uh, on Xactro's website, they've got them on sale for $38.95, so that gives you a little bit of a break there. As you can see, both of these hoppers, uh, one has a coal load installed, one does not. The coal loads are free with the purchase of a hopper you get one coal load either the heap style or a flood style this is the heap style it's very unique and uneven um, just like a real coal load would be so while we've got these coal loads I do want to weigh this for you so you can see the weight of these so right now I'm going to go ahead and tear this to zero and weigh it with the coal load you've got 93 grams 3.3 ounces or 0 0.093 kilograms with the coal load and without make sure it's back to zero here we've got 0 0.078 kilograms 78 grams 2.8 ounces so there you have it on the weight now let's talk about some detail real quick on this car First of all, from this angle, you can probably see it has interior bracing. Even though they expect you to have those coal loads in there, Xactrail took the time to put interior bracing, interior braces in this car, and a lot of other detail. There's rivet detail all around this car. On this end, you should be able to see the KD number 58 coupler, brake wheel, and a lot of other details. On the side, you can see the rivets, that nice moniker there, nice clear print. Of course, this is Chicago and Eastern Illinois. There's 23 road numbers for the as-delivered 1973 paint scheme and just one road number with this moniker here for Chicago and Eastern Illinois. Look at the detail on that end. Nicely done. They've got coupler cut levers, the KD number 58s, the air hoses for the brake lines, and on the bottom you've got a lot of nice detail as well. As you can see there, you've got the nice underbody detail on this car. So one of the things that one of the other things that sticks out is you've got the coupler cut levers or wire so that's nice and thin and prototypical and overall just a great job on these hoppers now let's talk about some other schemes real quick texas and pacific you've got as delivered paint scheme with 17 road numbers texas and pacific 1974 as delivered paint scheme with the moniker is only one road number we talked about the chicago and eastern illinois uh, road numbers available, but you've also got Missouri Pacific 1984 Small Eagle repaint at six road numbers, and you have the Chicago Northwestern 1976 as delivered ball and bar paint scheme at 24 road numbers. So just a really nice job on those details. You've got those exact rail 100 ton ASF ride control trucks there. You've got on the bottom single door wine locks just really nice job you can see all the detail on these I actually have to keep them off the track or the roll off that's how free willing free rolling the wheels are so overall great job by Xactro on these thanks for watching guys I hope this review covered a lot of your questions it's just a very very quick overview thanks for watching and we'll see you next time right here on my channel take care